July 2015 edition of Vet Talk TV Online is proudly supported by the Animal Referral Hospital. In this edition of Vet Talk TV, were you at the recent AVA Practice Managers 2015 conference? If not, you missed the great Dr. Marty Becker talking about the benefits of making vet visits fear-free for your patients and for your clients. I'm like the dyslexic blues brother. I'm on a mission from dog. (laughs) (laughs) I'm working to create fear-free veterinary visits, which is something I've, you know, uh, you know, previous speaker today was talking about having passion for what you do and loving what you do. And and somebody was talking about they maybe lost a passion for animals. Well, I never really lost a passion for animals or people, but... This is the single most important thing I've ever done in 35 years of being a practicing veterinarian. Everyone knows dogs love to play fetch with a stick, right? Wrong. A stick nearly cost this dog her life. And he ties her, took some x-rays, established there was a huge stick under her her, uh, neck muscles. And um, we proceeded to remove the stick and then sort out what was happening in her mouth. So we had to kind of be very careful with how the stick came out because we were really concerned about other major structures because we weren't sure in the beginning where the bleeding was coming from. We didn't know whether the jugular, her carotid, her esophagus, all of those things were intact. Another great seminar for you with Dr. Stan Kim. Log on to grab CE points, and don't forget there's a podcast version of the seminar as well. This is not about regenerative techniques. Uh, at UF, we're actually conducting a prospective clinical trial on uh, stem cell therapy. There's CT scanners, and there's CT scanners, and there's this one, providing unprecedented imaging in the blink of an eye. And while its predecessor was pretty good, this machine is so much better. It's technology able to take even sharper images of either soft tissues or bone in just seconds, meaning the pet has a shorter anaesthetic and a lower dose of radiation. So this is Fudge, the patient that was on the scanner before, and what we've got here is a 3D volume rendered image, allowing us to assess the bony features of Fudge's skull. In fact, this new CT scanner is actually three machines in one. So another feature of this scanner is its ability to perform cardiac CT. All these stories and more now available either as video or podcasts. Allows us to image the coronary vessels.